Thank you. I find myself preoccupied with a sentence, a question rather, that I happened to overhear out in the street this morning. And I want to talk about that today instead of whatever it was I had originally planned. It was an ordinary incident, the kind of thing we've all seen or had happen, and we never give it a second thought. A pedestrian was making his way absent-mindedly along the sidewalk. He was lost in thought, and before you knew it, he had walked smack into another fellow coming along from the opposite direction. The injured party, whose only injury, as far as I could tell, was a ruffled temper, instantly barked, Where do you think you're going? Well, I don't know how the crisis was resolved, because by then I was out of range. But I was suddenly and strangely taken with the words I had just heard. Where do you think you're going? It's a good question, a very important question. There's a large difference between thinking something and knowing it. A man may think he's going somewhere, but suppose he happens to be on the wrong track, going in the wrong direction. Many worthwhile people are apparently willing to go through life saying, I just can't seem to get anywhere. As long as they keep saying that, the chances are they never will get anywhere. Anywhere is not only a big place, it's an indefinite one. You've got to pick out a specific where and be sure it's the right one for you. Without it, you can only get nowhere. People frequently come to me for counseling, complaining that they're not getting anywhere. Where do you want to get, I usually ask. Sometimes the answer is, I don't know. How can you get anywhere when you don't know where you want to go? You must ask yourself, what do I want my future to be? How and where do I want to spend it? Think it over and I'll be back in a moment. Why don't you begin by giving yourself the benefit of the doubt? Think about where you are going. And if your heart's not really in it, you're on the wrong track. Don't take another step in that direction. It will only be a misstep. One of the most brilliant minds of the 17th century, a Spanish philosopher named Baltazar Gracian, said it this way. If you've made a misstep, don't hesitate to correct it. To change one's mind is not a sign of weakness, but of strength. To persist in a wrong course is stupid. Pick your somewhere carefully, and know without any question that there is where you want to go. The future we choose for ourselves involves an immeasurably important decision for each of us, for that is where we are going to spend the rest of our lives, there in the future.